a dielectric ball is polarized uniformly and let's say the polarization is p so we have this ball here and the uniform polarization means all the molecules are aligned in the same direction and dipole moment per unit volume remains constant taking into account that ball polarized in this way may be represented as a result of a small shift of all positive charges find the electric field inside the ball and demonstrate that the field outside is that of the dipole located at the center and potential being this so we are being asked to take into account that it can be represented as a small shift but we are going to prove that so let's prove it so we have this ball and let's take a small volume like this so what we are going to do first because he has given the polarization we are going to calculate the surface charge density using the polarization and then the what surface density we are going to give that choosing that we will prove that it is same as that of the shift of the positive charges so if you are little bit confused about what it means by all this i suggest you look at problem number 3.17 first so there we have done something similar on the sphere so in fact from 3.17 we know that for such charge dense distribution so this kind of charge distribution the field inside is constant and its value is e in is minus p by 3 epsilon so in problem number 3.17 the sigma was sigma not cos theta and the field was minus sigma not by 3 epsilon so here instead of sigma not we have p so e inside will be minus p by 3 epsilon not so just look at this problem once and you will understand why we are writing this and why this kind of charge distribution on the surface gives a uniform electric field inside anyway coming back to our problem so using p we are going to calculate surface charge density and if it comes to be in this form we will know that the field inside is going to be uniform and then we can find its value so we'll take a small volume element of length l and let's say this cross sectional area is a so it is at an, at an angle theta this element so this can be represented as a small dipole because all the positive charges will be on the right and negative on the left so let's say the charge is q and the surface charge density is sigma and this area this slanted area is a dash see i am showing the charge here but in reality charge will be on this surface so q is equal to sigma a dash and a dash is equal to a by cos theta so this is a and if this is theta then this angle is theta so a dash cos theta is a in other words a is a dash by cos theta so we have written a dash as a by cos theta so by definition of polarization p into volume is equal to q into l which is dipole moment so p is dipole moment per unit volume so this gives dipole moment p into v v of this element is a into l and q we can write as sigma a by cos theta times l a and l gets cancelled and sigma we get in the form of p cos theta so this is the surface charge density on the dielectric sphere which as we discussed is in the form of sigma not cos theta and in that case electric field inside is constant and its value is minus p by 3 epsilon not so this field can also be generated by overlap of two uniformly and oppositely charged spheres separated by a small distance d that is a dipole so you can form this kind of uh this kind of distribution by overlap of two charged spheres or like he suggests it can be by a small shift of all positive charges of the dielectric relative to all negative charges so you have some neutral charge you shift the positive charge a little bit and you are going to get a similar configuration 
which you get by 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 the overlap of two oppositely charged spheres so the distance between both those spheres is going to be d then we can represent this as a dipole so all that charge positive charge can be concentrated on this point and all the negative charge can be concentrated on this point so for the all the external points this situation is similar to that of a dipole see inside we cannot do that because inside as we know that field is going to be constant but for outside points all this positive charge can be concentrated here and all the negative charge can be concentrated here so it's equivalent of a dipole which is what we needed to demonstrate so i'm not writing the values of field and these are the standard results for a dipole the field and the potential so we'll just write that so k into p dot uh, p dot r by r cube and here p vector is q into d and q is 4 by 3 pi r cube into rho see they over, they overlap and cancel each other but that doesn't mean that this q is not 4 by 3 pi r cube into rho so this q is 4 by 3 pi r cube into rho and such so is this one and the distance between them is d so our dipole moment is that charge q into d vector yeah